Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. So in this video, we are going to see what all are the new features is going to come in the Angular version 17. So we have seen like a couple of months before in May 2023, Angular team has released Angular 16. And in that we have seen there are a couple of the new features they have implemented like rethinking reactivity, Angular signals, RxJS interoperability, server side rendering, and so many. If you want to see what all are the new features which was added in Angular 16, you can see uh, that um, like uh, description section, you can find that link. There you can see what all are the new features which was introduced in Angular 16. In this video, we will see like uh, in the Angular 17, what all are the new features is going to come. So Angular uh, 17 is supposed to launch in the November 2023 as of the date and with this there are couple of the new features is going to come and if we talk about those new features so first is the declarative control flow it means like now we can write the complex uh, conditional logic in our HTML side also like if we want to write the if and else condition we can easily write the complex uh, conditional logic very easily with the angular version 70. another is the deferable view it means it give us ability to load and render view only when they are needed now for an example we used to have the lazy loading and early loading in the similar way with the deferable view now it give us facility to render to the view whenever it needed so what will happen it will improve the performance of our application by reducing the number of views that need to be loaded and rendered at any given time if we talk about other features that is the improved support for server side rendering means angular 17 make it easier to pre-render our application html on the server now this improve the performance of our application by reducing the amount of time that it take for our application to load on the client another features that is going to come is the support for custom element binding means angular 17 allow us to bind custom element to our angular component this make it easier to integrate custom element into our angular application the next feature is the support for custom element provider so this is the new feature is going to come and uh, with that like what will happen this make it easier to inject custom element dependency into our angular component another is the feature is the improved support for internalization and uh, the next is the improved support for the accessibility so these are the new features is supposed to come in the november 2023 means angular version 70 so these features supposed to come with this if there are the new features like we will discuss about those things as well and apart from these features they are uh, like performance improvement and some couple of the bug fixes is going to introduce with this one so these are the new things is going to uh, come and once the version will launch we will understand all these features with an example and we will see how it is giving the benefit to our application so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you